What's up, guys? German Prime Prophecy, it's on day! Now, welcome to, um, I've never done one of these videos before. It's basically me telling you guys how to start a gaming YouTube channel. Now, I know my channel isn't the biggest YouTube channel in the world, obviously. And this is basically a tutorial on how to just, like, start one with the equipment you're going to be needing. What maybe might up on your subscribers a bit. But if you guys like this video, if we could get 25 to 50 likes in the video, that would just be amazing. For a uh, video on how to grow a gaming YouTube channel, that some of the tips that I found really, really useful to grow mine. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So, let's go to the equipment first of all. Basically, uh, for, like doing a gaming YouTube channel, I'm taking it as you've already got a console, if you haven't got a console then um, you could get something like, or you haven't got enough money for a console, then uh, you're gonna like, probably, you're gonna need like a PC or computer to start off with, and if you haven't got enough money for a console then get like a, a, a um, PC screen recorder and record PC games, but if you honestly don't want to do that, then get a console like the um, PlayStation TV, which I've actually got. I, don't, I haven't done a video on it yet, guys. But use that. It's an 80 quid uh, piece of property. And then you just get HDMI, a splitter, a certain one. Uh, that's like 100 quid and all in all. And you can play games on that. But I'm taking it as you've got a monitor and a console. So, the like, I'm going to basically be saying some of the equipment to you. So, to start off with, there's like the capture cards to record your gameplay. And now... To record the gameplay, you're gonna need something like the, the most popular one that mostly everybody knows of with the Elgato Game Capture um, 60, um, or like the normal Ghetto Game Capture. I've got the normal one, and that seems to work fine for me. So if you guys want to go ahead and get that, that's just awesome. But for Xbox 360 gameplay, guys, um, I've actually found a really, really good capture card that I think's a bit cheaper, and it's called the Ava Media Live Gamer Portable. And it is actually a really, really good capture card. I might change the Ava Media, guys, because it's actually that good. And it looks like a really, really good capture card. So if you don't want to get the Elgato, then definitely get that Ava Media, bros. Um, and then my last capture card to recommend is the Roxio Game Capture. Not the Roxio like Game Capture, it's the Roxio Game Capture HD. Um, now I think like the quality of it is better because it's the Roxio Game Capture HD, obviously. But it's actually supposed to be a really, really good capture card, like coming up to Elgato quality. So I'd really, really recommend that capture card, guys. Now you've got your uh, computer, hopefully, um, and then you've got a capture card. The next thing you're gonna want to be having is a mic. So if your computer does come with a mic and you're really like budgety then you don't need to buy one if it's clear. But if it's terrible completely then buy something that's cheap online but if you honestly want to buy a really really good one then buy something like a blue snowball um or blue yeti blue yeti is a really really good guys or like something like a road microphone or maybe a razor microphone you can always find them all online Do, look up videos and just like see what ones there are get, get something like that definitely a, i'd recommend a blue microphone that's what i use um, they're like really really good quality or if not a road microphone like I've said so now you've got that and you've got those you've got the mic and the recording um, software you're gonna probably be wanting a headset now you could just use basic earphones the reason why I say headset is because when you record the gameplay with a capture card it actually records the audio as well automatically so if you have the um, audio plan for your TV like on whatever if you have a monitor then what's going to actually happen is going to echo and it will actually sound really really bad i've done that many times in the past do not make the mistake make the same mistake as i did because it does not work at all so i would recommend a headset probably if you're looking budgety maybe like a turtle beach that's what i'm using at the moment and they work fine for me or if you're going to take it to the next level get something like maybe an afterglow uh, astros or some tritons they're really really good headphones to get um, but like I said, the Astros are pretty, pretty pricey, so maybe get those Turtle Beaches for start. Um, so you've got, they're the three basic things that you need. Um, now if you want to get your videos, like, to be watched a lot, I'm actually going to be doing a separate video on this, but I'll just quickly do some quick tips. Then get a editing software, something like Lightwork Studio, that's a free editing software. Um, so you might want to get that if you're looking for something free. Or if you're looking for something like kind of pricey and really good, get something like Premiere Pro, um, 
Sony Vegas Pro 12, Sony Vegas Pro 13, any of the Sony Vegas's, they're really, really good editing software. Or if you're on a Windows and you obviously have Windows Movie Maker and on a Mac you have uh, iMovie, just update it to the latest version because it's a lot, lot better. Or maybe something like Final Cut Pro, they're just some of like the ideas, a lot of people know about them though. And finally, you're going to want to have a good thumbnail for the video so uh, people are finding it good. So if you're looking for something that's free, then get the... Um, Go on to a website called PicMonkey or Pixlr. One of them, they're, they're really, really good guys. And if you're looking to make a Minecraft thumbnail, then go on to a website called uh, NovaSkins.com and then just like copy it. We'll look up a video on it if you stuck at all. So yeah, that's basically how to make a, um, like a, how to, that's how to start a gaming YouTube channel guys. It's like, I know it sounds like a lot of money, but honestly, that's like what you're going to have to be buying if you're really going to be wanting to like put all your like mind to it and really, really want to start it, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the videos. I enjoyed making it. Make sure you're subscribing to my channel for some more awesome videos coming up in the future, guys. And make sure you're getting those 25 to 50 likes because it does actually keep me motivated to make more awesome Minecraft videos. Anyways, my name's James and that's all for me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!